Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Star Trek Away Team walkthrough. So it's been a very long time since we've played this game and I've missed it. So let's continue. Our next mission is the Klingon High Council. Ambassador Worf insists he can convince Chancellor Martok that the Wardens are responsible for misleading the Council toward a course of war. Worf is a Klingon of courage and honor, and I trust his diplomatic abilities. I will organize an away team to escort Worf directly to the Klingon High Council chambers. Once we breach the security patrols, we will force an audience with Chancellor Martok and attempt to avert a costly war between the Klingons and the Federation. Sir, I believe I have further stabilized the phased packet of particles emitted from the security officer's sniper rifle. It should maintain cohesion for a greater length of time, increasing distance. Hmm. Select your entire team, now. Hey, well, we want the captain. We definitely want a medical officer. Of course, recommended items. Oh, computer systems obviously is mandatory. Okay. I think that's... Oh yeah, we can have five, can't we? Of course, yeah, because Worf. Right, let's go. The Beta Quadrant is bracing for the threat of war. The Wardens have manipulated the Klingon High Council to revoke the Kittimer Peace Accords. It is believed that Chancellor Martok is privately opposed to a conflict with the Federation, but he requires evidence of the Warden's plot before he can move against a United Council. The team will start here, where there is no shield prohibiting beam in. You must locate Martok by sneaking through the front gates of Kronos, <laughs> the capital city of the Klingon Empire. Once inside, find and deactivate the security containment field protecting the High Council chamber. When you encounter Martok, it is imperative that you convince him to defuse this critical situation. Well, that seems like a piece of cake to me. Don't know about you. Oh gosh, right, so we've got to sneak in the front gates of Kronos. Hmm. Well, we want to ensure that... Perhaps today is a good day to die. Yeah, you see, I don't really want Worf firing, if I'm honest. Because he's, obviously, shoots to kill. We don't want that. As shooting to kill will be a lot harder, as you need to hit them a few times. Whereas stunning will just put them to sleep. Oh, you're kidding me. You are now in pause time. By default, the game will enter pause time after an attack to give you the chance to decide what to do next. You may toggle this auto-pause feature off in the options menu. Thank you, Mr. Data. Look at that. And therein lies the trouble with this game, if I'm honest. Of course, my actions will speak I lead by example. Oh, uh, gosh. Of course. One hack, hack, hack. Oh yeah, you're getting up again. I like how he's not noticed. There we go. Thank you and good night. Now where do we go? Uppity up. Oh gosh, they're coming after us again. Can't blame them really. My advice is to save as frequently as possible on this level. Because it can all be over in seconds. But talk. I'm hit. I'm hit. Watch your course. This is a stealth operation. Stealthy stealth. Crikey. How are we going to get round all them? Oh, man. Now, could... Oh, come on, that was a lousy throw. That's going to get their attention. I mean, to be fair, you can see why it's so heavily guarded. 
I'm not criticizing the Klingons at all here. They know what they're doing, don't they? Unlike me. Oh, Flippin' heck! Okay, this is a mess. Yes, sir. Affirmative. We're in trouble. Perhaps today is a good day to die. <laughs> yeah. You might be right there, Wolf. Talk. My actions will speak for me. Yeah, you might want to get out of there, Wolf. Oh, they're just logical choice. standing around doing nothing. Yes. I asked them yes, to fire. They're not firing. Oh, boy. Terrible, 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 terrible. Run, run, run! Run, rabbit, run! Oh, no. Ouch! That's gotta hurt! Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Not good. Um, Just keep running. We can get round here. I am under attack. I am under attack. Okay, repairs. Okay, so I had to look this up. The Isolinear chip is on the floor. I mean, what were they thinking with that? The developers. Science officer, ready to go. Logical. I really do not get what the developers were thinking with that one. Just shoving it on the floor where you you don't know it's there? I mean, come on. Okay, let's get into that council chamber. Now, we do have the cloaking band. Could we perhaps run over here? We're obviously going to have to use some sort of stealth, I think, here. Lucky for us. Oh, uh, hang on. It's done. Gosh, good luck. Cheeky. You say so. Right, 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 right. Uh oh, don't panic. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Of course. We need you to get us in that building. We need to lower the force field. As logic dictates. Yes, sir. Of course. We use you. Can we not just go in. I'm confused. Victory is ours. Oh my goodness, that was so glitchy! Moog, you are not welcome here. And what if you are wrong? I will take that chance. War may be at hand, and you have chosen to side with these Federation lapdogs. Hold. Chancellor Martok will speak with you, Worf. However, your Federation escort must leave immediately while we contemplate their actions. We have lowered the shields, Federation soldiers. Get back to your ship before we take vengeance for our fallen comrades. As you wish. Energize. Right, okay. Gosh. Because of the efforts of the away team, Ambassador Worf has convinced the Klingon Chancellor to speak with the High Council and prevent an attack on the Federation. Ambassador Worf will remain on Kronos to ensure that the Warden's influence does not spread throughout the Klingon Empire. During the mission, Commander Data made an important discovery. Commander? After analyzing the Warden handheld device, we discovered a discrete subspace frequency system. 
acting on the hypothesis that the Wardens used this subspace frequency to establish a galactic communications net, we attuned the incursion sensors to scan for Warden transmissions. The hypothesis proved to be correct. We have isolated the transmissions and identified the source, a distant planetoid called Neural 7. Starfleet has been informed of our discovery and has ordered the incursion to investigate the source of the transmissions immediately. Okay, well, for future reference on that level, you can try and do it stealthily, but it is incredibly time consuming and will most likely fail. Where if you go running in, blasting, I think it's your best chance, personally. It would appear that you need to put Worf in the doorway and then the mission ends, but that was quite glitchy in my opinion. Well, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.